Now, despite its recent peace overtures to Seoul, North Korea is being hit by more sanctions by the United States. The Treasury Department has announced new punitive measures on two dozen entities and individuals linked to Pyongyang's nuclear missile programs. The move comes as part of President Trump's maximum pressure strategy aimed at forcing North Korea to abandon its nuclear weapons. Parky June reports. The United States has made it clear that it's willing to come down hard on anyone attempting to help North Korea's weapons programs. The U.S. Treasury Department announced Wednesday that it's imposing new sanctions on six North Korean vessels, nine entities, and 16 individuals from China and Russia that are accused of curbing international efforts to isolate the North. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin said in a statement that the Treasury continues to systematically target individuals and entities financing the Kim regime and its weapons programs, including officials complicit in North Korean sanctions evasion schemes. To focus on the regime's financial networks, Washington has sanctioned five individuals in Russia and China and ten individuals linked to the Korea Ryonbong General Corporation, which the United States has previously sanctioned. Also among the targets are two Chinese firms, Beijing Chenxing Trading and Tandong Jianxiang Trade, which the Treasury accused of exporting goods worth more than 68 million U.S. dollars to North Korea and importing goods worth 19 million dollars from North Korea. The recent sanctions demonstrate U.S. President Donald Trump's maximum pressure policy on North Korea. The U.S. believes that despite the ongoing inter-Korean talks and the North's participation in the PyeongChang Games, there is no change in the regime's nuclear ambitions. North Korea is still developing and flaunting its nuclear capabilities, forcing the U.S. to maintain its excessive pressure on the regime. Experts say that the latest sanctions are a means to force North Korea to give up its nuclear power and eventually bring it to the negotiating table with the United States. Washington has said that it is willing to talk to the North under the right circumstances, meaning when the regime decides on the path of denuclearization. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.